It's been over 3,700 days without a major Category 3 or greater hurricane impacting the United States. The longest streak on record dating all the way back to 1851. That's 164 years. Here at Weather Trends 360, we think that's all about to change in 2016. The 2015 hurricane season was another inactive season for the Atlantic Ocean Basin, due in large part to the near record strong developing El Nino in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean was favorably warmer than normal for hurricane development, but El Nino trumped those conditions with very strong upper level wind shear. Overall, 11 named storms four were hurricanes, two of those short-lived major hurricanes. That upper-level wind shear from El Nino was record-setting, according to the gurus at Colorado State, and it helped spare the U.S. from any major hurricane impacts. Here at WT360, we think wind shear will be non-existent for 2016 because of La Nina and be similar to the devastating season of 2005. The Sahara Desert region is one of the source regions for our core hurricane season. Dust and sand coming off Africa in very dry years can dramatically suppress tropical systems. Rainfall in the sub-Sahara has been much above average, which normally would have been a plus for more hurricanes and storms, but the ocean water temps off West Africa were colder than normal, a negative for development. Wetter weather in this region helps keep dust from the Sahara and suppresses the Cape Verde storms that typically develop. As shear diminishes and wet weather continues, the stage is set for an active 2016 Atlantic season. History shows some of these storms are whoppers for the U.S. What happens when the 30-year PDO cycle crashes back to its cold phase? What happens when the wind shear plummets? What happens when several factors align? You have potentially a top 10 active hurricane season in 2016 with an ACE index over 200, which is almost double a normal year, and the highest since 2005, a record-shattering season. When all of these things team up together, an epic hurricane season in the making, like perhaps 1998, or even 2005 perhaps, probably not this bad as this was, again, a record-setting year. So here's how Weather Trends 360 sees the 2016 Atlantic season compared to the past 12 seasons. 18 or more named storms, 9 of those to become hurricanes. Five of the nine hurricanes will be major hurricanes. Three Cat 1 to Cat 2 hurricanes likely to make landfall, with another one or maybe two major landfalling hurricanes in the U.S. The ACE index will likely peak at 204. What's a typical season? Only 11 named storms, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes, and an ACE index of 110. While it's impossible to say definitively where any of these storms will make landfall, 164 years of history can certainly help narrow it down. Here are our early expectations. There are a million new residents in Florida since the last major hurricane hit that state back in October of 05, so please talk to folks who went through the early 2000s when Florida was pummeled by big hurricanes. Crops in the southern United States particularly susceptible include, but are not limited to, cotton, rice, soybeans, peanuts, tobacco, and corn, especially near the Gulf of Mexico and the southeast coast. Impacts would include flooding and wind damage. Farther inland areas would be susceptible to impacts as well, since hurricanes are notorious for being big rainmakers even after they've lost all of their tropical characteristics. Farmers, especially in the South, should check insurance policies and prepare for potential impacts during the Atlantic hurricane season. Brokers should be advised that crop yields and crop quality will be compromised by increased hurricane activity in the Atlantic Basin in 2016. The peak of the Atlantic hurricane season typically occurs in September when harvest activity is high. Excessive rain and wind from landfalling tropical systems would delay harvest and compromise crop quality. These are the names for the 2016 season, and some could make history. With Weather Trends 360, we have year-ahead weekly forecasts of temperatures, rainfall, snowfall, growing degree days, in-season hurricane strike reports, and short-range soil moisture, soil temperature, and evapotranspiration forecasts, and much more for your zip code. So, Check out our plans page for our subscription offerings in the $299 to $3,000 a year price range. And we'll end with some really cool facts on the power of Mother Nature. 
she's going to be flexing her muscles in the months ahead. And if you're human, and we'll make the assumption that you are, you're not going to like the scoreboard.